are at the Great Pyramids again. You're probably wondering, what, you went a second time? Yes, because the first time we got horribly scammed, it was super rushed, our camel tour didn't happen, we paid a lot of money for two people, we each paid $115, totaling $230 US dollars. I know I'm a sucker, right? Stupid me. Anyway, so I decided to come back today and just do it on our own. Look at this. And there's no tourists either. So we can take photos, you know, we're not rushed. There was like a gazillion people, as you've seen in the previous video. And I'd like to share to you the price we paid. So, 240 Egyptian pounds to enter. Which is like, what is that? $25 Canadian, not even $25 Canadian. And I also bought a ticket. Isabel didn't want to enter, but you can enter the Great Pyramid, the first one. Pretty excited about this because I didn't get to do it yesterday. Why didn't I get to do it yesterday? Because I was scammed, that's why. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll go in depth about how that scam worked. Because to enter the Great Pyramid costs more than to enter the second pyramid. And yesterday, you've seen in the video, I entered the second pyramid, which is the son of the Great Pyramid. But it only costs five euro, okay, to enter the second pyramid. The first pyramid is quite a bit more expensive, about 22 US dollars. But the tour yesterday charged me for the Great Pyramid entry fee, but I entered the cheaper one. You see what I mean? Uh, but on the plus side, I kind of got refunded that money, like half of it. I mean, take it as a win, right? Because it's Egypt, you're gonna get ripped off. 440 Egyptian pounds for the entry fee of the Great Pyramid. Pretty stoked. And here's the Sphinx. There's no one here. And that girl's taking a photo with a tripod. Look at this. There's no people here. How exciting. Okay, let's find a photography spot. As you can see, we got the Sphinx there with the two pyramids in the background and there's no people. There's no people because we came here early. A couple of doggies there. Hello, Poochie. Hello. Good morning, my friend. Pretty sure that guy is warming up to start one of his quote-unquote scams here. There's the other pyramid there. And I got some awesome photos. First photo of today is better than anything I got yesterday. Pretty excited about that. And you got a couple of tourists there. Isabel's grabbing some good photos, I'm sure. Great pyramid right there. That's the pyramid for the queen. Unfortunately, it's very tiny. And then we have the sun of the Great Pyramid right here. And the third one is... Uh, hmm? And the grandson. And the grandson, which is, you can see, is very small, unfortunately, for him, I guess. But he gets a pyramid nonetheless. It's a pretty hazy morning. Very hazy. We got the second pyramid here. You're probably wondering why I'm starting off here is because at the Great Pyramid you already have some tour groups there. So I wanted to come here because there's nobody here. This is pretty damn exciting. 8, 10 in the morning. See, it pays off. We're not, we're not even up that early. 8.10 to me is considered late. Check it out. Beauty. Absolutely outstanding. And it's getting hazier. <laughs> and oh, of course, that's the Great Pyramid there. We can go there after because we got to go inside, right? Okay, now we head to the Great Pyramid. Uh, so that tour group from before, they kind of left. And now they're there taking photos of the second pyramid. So hopefully when we get there, there's not too many people. Excuse me. Disculpe. You guys going up? Yeah. yeah. Dude, you gotta wait. There's other people, right? 
I'm not going to get there any quicker. Inside the Great Pyramid. I apologize for the view. You good? <laughs> of inside the Great Pyramid. Pretty cool experience, I have to admit. Um, but it's very similar to the last video with the second, uh, going inside the second pyramid, the sun. It's right there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head on this way and I'm not really sure what we're doing next. Huh? Oh, look, they're paying to climb the thing. No, they, they were gonna leave. Ah. Ah. Okay. So you see. So you see what's going. You see what's going on, guys. You have these these tourists here, right? So they they took a photo like on the rock, but it's very important in Egypt to always negotiate before you do anything. Um. No. No. It looks like they settled everything. No. Oh, they had to. Locking them, not let them leave. Uh, and the one gave them money. Say, okay, go, go, go. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in Egypt, you're always, no matter what it is, even if you're getting a tea, if you're getting like, like, it's just better not to take anything here. Or if people approach you, just kind of—I mean, I hate to say it—but kind of stay away. But if there is something you want to do, you got to negotiate first. You always, always first. Okay. Now, let's head on to whatever. What are we doing next, anyway? I guess we're gonna follow the road. Apparently, if you follow the road here, they have a few panoramic spots of the pyramids. And I was looking last night on Google Images and they look absolutely beautiful. So hopefully we can get slim, similar shots. It's pretty exciting stuff. Well, if you guys wanna do a camel tour or like a horse buggy ride, this is the place you would do it. Your camels there, tourist police. Today, we're skipping the camel tour. Uh, it's just way too much of a headache for, um, sorry, the guy was kind of cut me off. They, they, say, they say, see, they, he says 200, right? You're going to get on there and then he's going to be like, oh no, it's 200 for a minute. It just becomes a huge headache. Same with the camel thing. We've seen a few other tourists arguing over, I don't know, whatever nonsense. I don't know if scam's the word, but just 
let me call it putrid nonsense to try to pull here. So we're just gonna skip the camel tour, enjoy the walk to the third pyramid, which would be the grandson. It's the grandson, right? Yeah. yeah. The third one, yeah. So gonna take a well, basically it's a panoramic walk. Um, we have ridden camels before in India, so I don't think we're missing out on that much. And those camels are a lot larger too. Uh, not that it makes any difference, but anyway, I'm just saying. So unfortunately, I mean, I would have loved to do a camel thing, you know, in a desert, you know, maybe take some photos of the camels in the pyramids, but these guys dealing with the guys here, the, this Giza complex is just, oh, it's too much a headache. Like I would literally pay more money without the, the bullshit. <laughs> but whatever, we're gonna go on a beautiful walk and uh, hopefully get some sick photos. We were walking by we're not even quite at the panoramic point, but Isabel found a really good spot here and we got some bloody epic photos. Really gonna, I really wanna fire those up in a laptop, see what they look like. All right, if you see where all those tourists are, that's the panoramic point, that's the first one. However, I kinda found this spot here is a little bit better because you got like these the staggering view i kind of like the way it looks plus you have all these like tourists here on the camels and you can take a photo you know with these camels with the pyramids in the background and it's all hazy so it looks all mysterious i think it looks kind of kind of neat all right and that there is a second panoramic point and not many people there i'm kind of curious to see what that's going to look like Okay, we have arrived to the second point here. And you can see this is where all the little uh, tourists are getting their shots with the camel. But I can see why, because this is a very, very cool looking, very cool looking photo how those pyramids are staggered. All right, let's get some shots. An absolutely remarkable spot for photography right here. I'm definitely glad we stopped here. I'm sure Isabel got some awesome shots. I think I got some good ones too. And another spot, no one else has been coming here. Isabel found it, of course, because she's always the photography scout. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna take a couple more photos here. This is incredible. What a view. This is insane. I'm speechless. Here's a close up view. Absolutely majestic. And that pretty much concludes um, today's pretty epic pyramid. Pyramids of Giza little tour we did. Um, I highly recommend you do this on your own. Don't do it in a tour. You're gonna miss out. You're gonna miss out on so much like I did yesterday where I had my painful lesson. But boy, did I learn and I learned quick. And I redid it again today. Best decision I ever made, as you can see. Um, Yes, I might stop to take one more photo, but then that's pretty, that's pretty much it. I hope this gives you guys, I mean, I don't hope, I know it's gonna give you guys a really good idea of how to get around here and what you can see for yourself. And remember, in the beginning of the video, I mentioned the price of the ticket, which was 240 pounds, Egyptian pounds the entrance entrance fee and to enter the great pyramid you know when i got those those uh shots uh it was 480 i have to look at my ticket again but it was 480 or something like that okay i'll leave you with that view 
There you go. We also missed this on yesterday's scam tour. Wow, look at this red granite. It's incredible. Yes, of course. Check it out. Pillars made out of red granite there too. I can't imagine how much one of these rocks weigh. Red granite. I don't know how many times I've said red granite now, but this is not something you can easily cut. Look at that precision. Crazy. What a crazy place. Insane. You know, from like a, I don't know what you call it, engineering point of view, I have no idea how the hell you could do something like this. Like without the use of today's things. Sorry, today's equipment. Oh, it's a video, huh? Pretty sweet shot of the Sphinx and the pyramid behind. Now, I'm gonna hit up some shops there, see if I can get rid of uh, this uh, Egyptian pounds, which is basically Monopoly money once you take it out of the country. All right, let's spend that Monopoly money. All right, made a quick haggle and I bought two Egyptian headdresses for 100 hundred of their money, hundred Egyptian pounds, which is about four Canadian dollars. And I'm sure I still overpaid, but the guy started at 400, I believe. He said, four, no, no, sorry, sorry. He started at 200. 200 for one, but I paid 100 for two. So pretty good deal. Look at all this other stuff here. Let's see what they got here. All right, so I bought, I bought these cool little figurines. See, that's a good photo. And I paid 200 for two. That's like a hundred each, right? The guy started, he wanted 420 for one. But I think it's like the more stuff you buy, you get it severely, severely discounted. I don't know if I only bought one if you pay 100. I mean, I'm sure you probably still could have got it for 100, but. Anyway, two. So one's like a gift for someone. 